Good afternoon all. Um, it's a late October afternoon 2021 in West Donegal. When I sat today to do this, it looked terrible outside. It still is terrible outside, but all of a sudden a bit of a sunshine through. So this is um, an exercise in futility to look at what you do when you're, you're back beyond being bored in return, trying to make a quick buck. And uh, so what I could be doing and should be doing, or was doing, was I had all these uh, portable hard disks uh, that were connected to my PC and I'm trying to transfer tens of gigabytes of video files that I can't remember what's in them so they can maybe have a look through them and do something with them. So that would be really boring and really problematic. So anyway, I ended up with, I have all these bits of plastic packaging and everything, everything. So you know, we're all in, what do we do with our packaging? Okay. So one of the things I've been interested in is see, could I make plectrums? So there's your standard plectrum that you buy. This blue one here is about 0.7 of a millimeter. This here is 0.6 of a millimeter. Now, so, so for me, trying to play and not make a fool of myself. I'm trying this with a 0.6 mil. That's the 0.6 mil. So flexible, nice and flexible. It's a little bit, little bit stiffer. So I'm just wondering, can I do something with the uh, my plastic stuff, right? It's gonna end up in a bin here as well. It's gonna end up in some fish's belly and then we can all eat plastic fish from the inside. Um, okay, so some of that, this is the table. The other thing I need is, I need my glass, so I've got to throw these on here. Start looking at small things. Okay, so starting off with these bits of plastic like this here, okay? And what I notice, I'm trying to make these find find the the answer, you know, the ultimate alchemy. And I find the uh, I think I have that iPod in me. And um, terrible review on Apple iPads Pro disaster. I find it very hard to sit fit in the year and stay in the year. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been cutting these pieces up here. So I need to cut it. And I'm going to use this thing as a a die or a punch with the shape of a, a plexer in it. Okay. So uh, I just cut. I'm going to cut the sides off this, and uh, cut this foot. Have to get round the corners. Just be able to the nice. So I'm going to try and use as much of this uh, plastic as I can. How much of it can I reuse? All right. That's. That's the task I'm set to do. Put this down the line. And again, look at this is costing me nothing. This is all going to go to waste anyway. Don't ask me where and when. Or, but yeah, if somebody did tell me that the Atlantic is full of small piece of plastic that even the fish can't see, I wouldn't be surprised. Though, right? So we can also use it with this Stanley here to slice these. I'll be a bit careful, I don't cut myself. Now, the other thing is, there's little corners and that, I have to take them off, and I just want it straight. So I want it all to be flat so it doesn't follow the entrance to the um, stem, the punch, and all the little bits then I take off this. Okay, so. I'm, I'm collecting all my little bits in uh, another plastic uh, item that's due to be got rid of as well. So here's me punch and I simply, uh, I've been playing around with this so I, I think I'm, I'm going to be able to get three of these in every row. And we'll just look at this. And so you can see the first hole is in there. Just move over to the edge somewhat. Yeah, yeah, just about clear there. Now at the end of the day, I learn, as the fella says, I learn how to do this correctly. So 
have got me three here. There you go. So all I do now is I just cut those here and I wish I could find another idea as to how I could reuse these. Maybe, maybe I could make plectrum pies. Okay. Could we use this maybe to stamp things on top of the cake or something? So this is what you can be doing when you when you have the answer to all of the other things that you should be doing. That's me. There's so many things I'd like to do and I can't do. I haven't a clue how to do them. Um, like, for example, how am I going to sort through the hundreds of gigabytes of data? I'm trying to remember what it is. I'm trying to sew it together into some interesting video story. So I'm, I'm punching out a whole bundle of these. I'll just punch out one more row at the moment. Don't be afraid to give it a last jack. And then onto this last one. So straight away I've generated nine plectrum. I'm just going to show you them at the moment. So someday this might actually be a multi-million dollar business. Okay, just remember it started here at the kitchen table in the middle of winter. Okay, okay so I've got all these. They're like Holy Communion or confetti. Holy Communion for fish. Guys, see them? Okay. Now the problem with them is, well, first they wanted the like, you see, I had a sense that they were sort of similarly flexible. I don't have a caliper here with me right now, but they do look in the region of half, somewhat over half a mil. I just take the guitar and just compare them maybe to the 0.6 and see if what it looks like. This is 0.6. These, which are, these are all the same size, don't you? Stiffer, but that's, I think that's also the plastic. This one. Now, there's two problems about these, they're transparent, so if you drop to me, you can't see them. And the other thing is because they're slippy, they tend to slip out of the hand. So I had another idea that I was using to a hole punch from the pre digital days when you were punching paper to go into a, a file. Um, so I'm just going to use one of the sides of the punch. Um, with these iPods falling out, I don't know if the thing is still, is still recording. Yeah, it's a real problem with these iPods. With these iPods, AirPods, sound very good, but geez, they're a disaster for the to use. So let me take one of these. Now the problem I'm going to, I think it's going to have is lining the thing up so I get repeatability on where the hole will be placed. I have to think about that again. Let me just punch it. Okay, so. From a visual, that's quite, that's fairly much in the center. So when I hold the plectrum, I've got sort of skin to skin in through the hole. I think it's interesting, right? Now I don't tend to drop the plectrum as much now as when I started trying to use it. It always ran away. So I had this other idea then, if I could uh, roughen it up a little. There's two things, I'm using a little file here, so because I have a little plastic, the lady's nail file this week. And I'm just deburring the edges of it really, because obviously the punch will give it, that's well, probably where it's gone off with a bit of play in it. Just, it's not, there's no danger, it's just everything you do to, uh, I suppose to make it a bit more opaque, will make it more visible. So now I'm using these little dremels, you see all the little clues around it. Um, a, a little uh, engraver and I've got a little stone on the top of this, a little uh, sharpened stone on it and I'm just going to run around and um, give it some sort of sharp edge now which is very much here, it's running away from me you know I want to see what this will feel like in the hand it is all going to be unique. Can't say there's a brand or anything that's signed by Liam O'Gorgon. <laughs> signed here. This will be my digital signature. So, now, I'm going to bury the speed of this guy just winding up and down. And there's different sizes of 
things. There's a whole bundle of them over here now. Actually, the shank in this is a little bit thicker, so it fits it. There's a different one here, a craft one. I don't like it, but it's kind of noisy. You know? uh, I haven't used this in all, but that sounds like a bad bear or something like that. But anyway, uh, we're not worried. We'll just take them at the moment and see. I have a little sand in uh, belts, etc. inside there. So I'm going to just try this on the... See, I like the way this feels in my hand at the moment. Um, so I've got a hole in it and I've um, roughened it up, roughed it up a bit. If you're looking for something to amuse you, bemuse you, uh, distract you, annoy you, whatever, and also to play with little bits and pieces of toys, maybe to try your glasses out. I use my glass when I'm doing something like this here. Unfortunately, when I come to see small stuff and solder and anything like that, that's kind of a bit of a problem. So after this, when I finish this, I'm going to try this plastic, this is the inside feed of plastic. Feels a lot of. Uh, I know I'd open these up, but let's just see. I won't get a lot out of that, but I get one in the sample. Let's just see. Right. And let's see. I'll be doing a lot just to rescue one of them, but. But I see this, this plastic is only going to. Great use, I mean. The plastic packaging seems like a great idea in one sense when you get it. I suppose when you start thinking of the fish, not the ones that get caught in the in the fish cup, but the ones that actually ingest the stuff. And then the people who who buy it in the supermarket. So you've got plastic inside the fish and then the fish is back wrapped in plastic again. So you can go for it again. I'm just gonna try this one. Let's see how this works. Okay, that's a fella says I bit off more than I can chew. Try it again on the other end. So really, my um, if you're out there and you're really interested in, in watching this video, are there such people? No. Um, and if you want to comment and guide me to a piece of so, this, this, would be it's this seems a bit stiffer. I thought it would actually, I thought this would be more flexible. Than... A nice feel off that. So that one there has a bit of a, a bit of a shape cut out of it. But see the interesting thing in this, this had some print on it. As you can see in, in this, well, this recyclable stuff. But actually, what that did is it gave me a bit of uh, friction and traction that that holds better than the hand. So I should look at that. I'll stick a hole in there as well, and you never know. Somebody may find the East Instinct. So if you see me on the side of a road somewhere busking, um, as we move into a post COVID period, please do stop and say hello. Um, and if you don't want to uh, feel that you're contributing to my singing, ask me if you can contribute to a couple of plectrum. So this plectrum is new design. You can see you can uh, have a little hole in it, so you can feel like a pinhole camera. You can probably put something, put a wee hook or something inside in it, so you could hold it. And it might go in your keyring or something. Anyway, from my point of view, I'm going to have lots of little bits of places. Look at these, a whole bundle of these. So now the next challenge you have is, how many do you think of plectrums that I will get out of all these bundles of bits? So there's another, look at it. What else were you going to use this for anyway? What I could do is, I don't know what this is from, but I could store it, it I could store it somewhere and for when I, when I what? When I sell it, use it, move it on, It'll probably become defunct before it stops working. And then I'll probably forgot what to do with it. And if I got that I even bought it in the first place. Um, 
and the plaster will still be there. Actually, that might do as a lunch box. So maybe you've got some ideas of how to go around your house and see how you can take things that you're just thrown out or you know whatever it is, bins or fires or whatever it is, and make something useful of them. And look, as you cut them up, it's a bit like welding wood. You can burn it easy, but at least you end up it's more, it's, it's easier to stuff into the bin. You know. Okay, that's uh, that's my contribution to the universe today. Thank you. Thank you, sir.